We're going good, man. Going good, man. I heard a lot about you so far. So, at the moment, I just want to start off as far as like, um, how did you even get your stage name with Vito being from New Jersey and whatnot? And I like how you got it spelled and everything of that nature. But how did you even get that name and start music? V-I-T-T-O-R-I-O. So really, my nickname should be Vito. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I started to make music, I was like, okay, I'm like, what should my name be? Like, I didn't want to be like something or like a name like that. So then I always decided, you know what, I'm going to go Vito because that's what I always wanted to be called. Nice, uh, nice. So... Even as well, like, um, with the scene, the music scene and rap scene that's in New Jersey, like, how did you even find doing music to be, like, your vocation, your calling? Like, how did you even find music? Um, that's a great question. Uh, so, when I first started making music, I was just like, you know, I was just doing music for fun. Mm -hmm. And then, After doing that show and even putting out your singles that you have put out so far, and whatnot, did you set that expectation of what you're looking to get, like the numbers of views and so forth? Um, for the first one, I put out a sheet on no, mm -hmm. it did exceeded my expectations. You know, I didn't really think that it was going to get as much uh, publicity as it did, only because, you know, I didn't really promote it. Right. I just said to my, like, only my family and friends knew about it. And then, you know, as the months went by, uh, my friends would text me and call me up and be like, hey, like, I'm at this college right now, like, and this guy's playing on my soul, you know, in their dorm room. And I was like, that's crazy, because they didn't even tell them, and it's just like, schools all over the country that are playing my song. <laughs> so, I mean, it's crazy how it spread it without uh, even anyone knowing it. You're right. Nice, nice. So then, until, let me, um, how did they even start reacting when you started on music and, and what gave you that courage or that idea to actually start releasing music to the public and tell people, yeah, I'm doing music, so just listen to it or whatnot? Yeah, so I'm not, I'm, I'm that's not afraid to, you know, do something. And when, it, when I am doing something, you know, I'm going to go all out and I'm not, like, I'm not going to be, like, shy about it. Uh, my... Uh, I'm sorry, what was the first part of the question again? You're good. As far as, like, how did they even start reacting when you first, you know, presented the music oh, to yeah, them, like yeah, your family yeah. and friends? My bad, my bad. So, uh, when I started making music, everyone was like, yeah, okay. They're, like, thinking about it's just going to be, like, a random SoundCloud dude. Mm -hmm. Like, he's just taking it as a joke, not very seriously. Um, but, I mean, music's my passion, it's my heart, it's what I love doing. You know, I want to do it for the rest of my life. So people absolutely, everyone has the same face when they listen to my music. They're like, this is actually you? Like, are you joking? <laughs> um, and I love the reaction every time. It's just very funny. Uh, but no, people love it. And, you know, I hope more people, when they listen to it, they love it as much as I do. And, you know, it just starts to grow. Nice. And I also had to um had the chance to listen to your new track Monday, which is good by the way. So even can I ask you, do you even have like a preference as far as the music that you like to make? Um I like to make I like to make feel good music. Mm. So there's not really a genre that fits me. Mm -hmm. Um there's not really a genre that because I in general I love all kinds of music. You know, I'm the type of guy that will listen to doo wop music all the way to 90s R&B. I mean, I love it all. But, um, I'd probably say it's a mixture between pop, hip-hop, and R&B. So gotcha. I just love making feel-good music. You know, music you would listen to when it's nice outside, you rolled your windows down, mm. and just vibe. Nice. 
I like it. And also, um, with your music, anyway, do you have um, a set time date as far as how long you want to do music? As far as some people don't want to do it all the way into like that 50 or, you know, for too long or anything like that because they want to branch off to another business venture or anything. So do you have that set duration in, in mind right now? Yeah. Uh, music's always been a part of my life, so I want to do it till the day I die. Nice. As corny as that sounds, I mean, I want to do this forever. <laughs> nice. I like it. And even then, um, right now, do you feel that your music is that um, that you're making time this music right now at this moment? Do you feel like you're making it or that that still has to come later on in the future when you reach your peak? Um, that's another good question. I think that the music, music like, has a hold right now. It's kind of confusing. Um, because, you know, I want to maybe in the late 2010s, uh, like we had that mumble rap and mm-hmm. you know all that other rap. And I, I love rap music. I love all kinds of rap music because you know every artist has their own uh, you know way of rapping yeah. and projecting out a song, and it's unique. Whether it's good or not, it's unique mm-hmm. just to see how someone could do it. And you know once someone does it and it's a hit, everyone wants to sound like that. So I think we're coming to a point where, you know, we're done making music like that. Um, and I think pop, you know, pop is really coming up the charts now, especially with artists like Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that music is, you know, changing its way a little bit. I don't know what direction it's going into, but I think it's changing to the better. Um, you know, and I think everyone's done with, you know, this rap, a lot of this rap music now is a little getting getting a little too stale. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we need a little refresher. So if you have some a unique voice, like, I think I do. Um, I think yeah. that, you know, maybe we could change the music scene. Nice. And is it something out of the music that you're that you are looking forward to the most as far as doing more shows like how you did in Texas or on um, meeting the high class celebs or just working with different people? Like, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to being as successful as I can be. And to be as successful as I can be, you gotta put your mind to it and you gotta have the fan base. Which brings me to another thing I'm really looking forward to. You know, money's cool and everything, and it's great to have money. And when you're successful and you have that money, it's like, you're so lucky to have it. But for me, the fans are gonna be so sick. Honestly, like, people listening to your songs throughout the whole world, mm. having a concert and then singing them, like songs you wrote in your dorm room with a basement at your house, like, that is just mind boggling. Like, when I had that feeling in Texas with just 300 people, mm. that was a feeling I'm never going to forget. So if I can have that feeling in a whole arena with people singing my songs, like, that, I mean, I can't ask for anything more than that. That's gonna be the best thing I'm gonna I look forward to. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I wish nothing but that for you actually. And with I wanna say with your um with the music you make anyway, is it like a ritual for you as far as the way you prepare before you make a song is always premeditated or you go off the vibes when you're actually in the studio at that moment in time? Um no, nah, so I mean for the most part it's just like I make a story in my head when I make music. So if I see something or, you know, something I've been through, that's all you should write about. When I'm in the studio, I like it dark lit, a room dark lit. It's got to be like a red room, uh, whether it's red lights or like red walls. I don't know why. I just like it a lot. Um, and I don't like a lot of people there, you know. Mm-hmm. If you want to come to the studio, that's fine. But you better believe that you're not just gonna be a studio and messing around with it. Like, I need to know that you're coming to the studio to, to like, give your full attention to the music and give mm-hmm. your honest feedback on it. If you're just gonna come to the studio to mess around, I, I mean, what's the point of coming in? I mean, yeah, studios can take long as hell. Like, they you to do this for six hours. Mm-hmm. And you can leave whatever you want, but at least give me your full attention when you're there. Not just fool around on your phone or you know, anything like that. Right. I like that. I like it. And um, 
I want to say, coming with the future or whatnot, um, what can they expect from you in the future at the moment? Is it more singles you're trying to push or you're trying to put together a collective project or just build up the fan base at the moment? Uh, um, you know, we're, just, we're working on a lot of things right now. My team and I, uh, you know, we're thinking about putting out a new song next month. Um, it's a much darker, much darker, uh, darker vibe than Monday, mm. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, but it's a good vibe. Um, you know, we're thinking about some collaborations, what songs can we put. You know, we're just constantly making music. We're not going to stop. Ooh, nice. um, but as for an album, I think that, you know, I can't really give you a specific time or date, mm. but I think sometime in the summer. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I'm really excited about that. So that'll be the prime time. Nice. And I want to ask you this question as well. On capitalizing on what you were saying as far as making music all the time, how do you decide on yeah. which music you actually want to, you know, that's going to make the cut to actually be put as a single or make the cut to get put on the EP as far as what you're recording a lot, like how some songs might not make it or you might forget about them yeah. or get put on the back burner. So how do you even decide? Um, not to, like, sound, like, cocky or, like, sound in a bad way, but I love every song I make. Mm. Like, there's that one song I'll put on my, on my car when I listen to it on my phone that I do not like. So mm. that's really hard for me, but then, you know, me and my team would sit down and we're like, okay, what songs are good, but what songs are different makers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh. Make me hard. You guys have, have a different opportunity. Yeah. So, uh, uh, there's some tracks that stand out right now, but I know for a fact that once I get back in LA and hit the studio, it's, it's going to be game over. It's going to be fun. 